Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sunny of LS Web Apps and um, in this video we're not really going to be doing a tutorial but um, this is just something that I wanted to address and maybe not address but just discuss about because um, I have this um, video here on YouTube that sort of um, had a bit of popularity among um, viewers on YouTube and um, it did pop up some discussions. I noticed that one of the most popular ones um, uh, revolves around whether you need to know complex maths to be able to um, get into programming or become a really good programmer and the answer for that is um, not really obvious it's a yes and a no and I'll explain why it's a yes and a no and I'll come to our conclusion okay so you let's start with the no part so programming on its own just to learn a programming language um, I've learned many program language JavaScript um, PHP um, C sharp a bit of Ruby and Python and um, Yeah, so all those languages on their own just learning them didn't require any um, complex mathematics um, For me to get up to speed and, and build applications with that um, So in that regard No, we do not need to know complex math or um, any sort of advanced mathematics to be able to get into programming Okay, so let's now now that we address the no part. Let's get to the yes part Okay, so normally when you are um, writing an application, you try to solve some problem. So programming on its own is fun, but if you're not solving any problem, you're not really providing any value um, to anybody except yourself. Maybe the enjoyment that you're getting from programming itself is value to you, but if you're not solving a problem for somebody else, you're not providing value. And most software, um, I believe, should be built to provide value. Okay, so let's say you're in accounting and um, your field of accounting requires complex mathematics so to build a software in general doesn't need complex maths but you need to know your domain in this case accounting is that domain you need to know um, without programming let's forget about programming on its own when an accountant is solving a problem um, whatever is in that domain if it requires complex maths you need to know that so you can't use the software to hide behind to say okay I do not need to know maths you are using the software to solve a problem and if that problem domain requires maths then you you need to know maths to be able to write software to solve that problem so a programming um, language on its own doesn't need maths or programming but domains may require you to know um, some advanced mathematics and um, yeah so there, there it goes I mean it's it could either be a yes or a no depending on what you're trying to do but I guess in a um, lot of different scenarios you will need some maths and in some scenarios you will not need complex maths like if you're writing uh, for example uh, just some jQuery um, UI to like to say if I click on this button just display this and make it a, a red text or something like that You don't need mass for that, but if you're solving um, Big world issues um, like writing um, software for the US stock exchange um, So before those people knew programming they had to know maths So if you introduce programming into that domain Yes, you will need to know a bit of maths to be able to um, solve those issues Or even if you don't know it yourself, you need to work with somebody who knows a bit of maths to solve that problem Okay, so I hope that that addresses the issue of whether you need to know maths to um, get into programming And um, if you have any questions, just um, write them in the comments below and um, let's tear up some conversation about this as well and let me know what your thoughts are on um, what I just said um, a few minutes back or seconds ago and um, yeah so that's it I will see you soon in the next video thanks for watching and subscribing cheers bye bye